Now, when I tell you guys this girl was beautiful, real hair, um, a girl as pretty as her in my whole entire life. What's going on, y'all? Peace and power, Monty tuning in. Things are going great, and it feels great to be back on YouTube making videos again. Uh, just went through, you know, life's like a stock. It goes up and down. We're higher than ever before, doing awesome. So first and foremost, I'm going to ask you guys, double tap, uh, drop a like, and subscribe for more awesome content from Monty this high vibrational king all right things have been going great you know i made a thousand dollars yesterday and we're going to get into how i did that later on in the video but right now we're going to talk about the topic of the video which is how i lost the love of my life by being a nice guy now when i tell you guys this girl was beautiful real hair i've real long hair i've never seen you know um a girl as pretty as her in my whole entire life so losing her, it definitely turned me into a warrior, made me strong, you know, made me hate the world, get on my demon time, hit the gym, get rich, that kind of stuff, right? Because when you don't do somebody wrong and you lose them, nothing is more motivating, right? Your enemy, your new enemy is the devil. So, yes, so um, I don't really know where to start. I didn't really map out this video, but... There was this girl that I, you know, met in high school and I used to run track in high school. She ran track in high school. She was a monster hurdler. I was a monster sprinter, tall, skinny, pretty, you know, Haitian girl, long hair, everything. Nice legs, slim waist. You know, she was a hurdler. Hurdlers always look the best, whatever. So uh, we go to different colleges, right? I go to Rhode Island. She goes to Marshall University, which is like 17 hours away from me. There's no way I can see this girl. So, you know, in college, we both agreed to just really do our own thing. And then post-college, we meet again, and she's super mad at me. Now, while she was in college, she had a whole boyfriend, okay? Like, we knew how we felt about each other, um, whatever, but we literally communicated. I did my best to communicate everything, right? So we meet back up post-college and she's just angry at me and trying to put demons on me. And I just like just trying to stay positive. You know, me, Monty, I've been through enough shit. I'm not trying to put any more negativity out there. So I'm just trying to be positive. Um, and this was like when I was 23, 24. I had my dream car at the time, which was very hard to acquire. Um, but anyway, staying on focus, y'all. We meet again. She's just trying to put demons on me, right? And this girl, I can tell, is still very naive, okay? Uh, men, we are the logical ones. Um, honestly, it is what it is. She's very naive, and but still, you know, it's like the naive people want to put demons on you and tell you what you're doing wrong, whatever, whatever. So, um, yeah, like, she just was so mad at me, but didn't explain why you know what i'm saying like i didn't even know these kind of energies existed at the time i thought everything was all gravy otherwise i would have you know brought it up but um i was just trying to be super positive okay and that's where the whole nice guy thing comes in i was trying to be this positive person she just wanted some salt you know she wanted something to complain about and genuinely i wish i would have word for word said you know i kissed a couple girls I wish I would have said that. Now, at the time, I wasn't hiding it, right? Because we both agreed to do our own thing and she had her own mans. So it's not that I was hiding it. I just didn't feel the desire or the need to bring it up. Because why would I bring that up? Genuinely, like human to human, why would you bring that up, right? But men, for the men watching this, you need to learn girls like drama, okay? Girls just like drama. The universe if you ask me, I will say the universe is a woman, like God is a female energy. I just genuinely believe so because, um, woman like drama and you know, the universe itself likes drama. I just dropped a post on Instagram today talking about how drama is a natural part of life. Like, but the universe endorses drama. Why? Because drama makes us stronger. Okay. The strongest people are those who suffered the most at an early age. If you had an early life, there's nothing to worry about. Like you don't go as hard as the people that felt pain early on. Okay. I was someone that felt pain 
very early on in third grade, I used to sell graffiti to my classmates to make uh, extra money. And this was in private school, all right? So I was always a hustler from a very early age. And it's because I felt pain, right? My dad wasn't able to provide for my mom. So my mom struggled financially. Me seeing her struggling financially made me want to not rely on her and just help me to gain intuition and conscience at a very early age. So I developed early and, you know, I'm way ahead of my time now because like I feel like that spiritual journey when you start it, it really creates a new you. And, you know, my spiritual journey, whatever, is very developed because I started at such an early age. I used to be a hustler in third grade, like I said, and I didn't even have to do it. But I just didn't want to rely on my mom. Right. So, yeah, guys. So back on the topic, the universe does enjoy drama. The universe itself, God itself enjoys drama. OK, this is why we have nightmares. OK. This is why when you go to sleep and you have dreams, the dream ends when it finally gets good. But when it's hell, that's when you're like the most memory part of the dream, right? That's when you usually remember it most. I mean, me, I remember my dreams. If not every night, every other night, I remember my dreams. And if you want some tips on how to memorize your dreams more, I could just tell you that um, you could probably, honestly, for me, I'm be honest with y'all. I smoked a lot of weed. So after I started smoking, like, nah, there was this one special time, okay? It was like summer, it was like 80 degrees out, perfect, not too hot, not too cold. It's like I was on a high life. Like everything was perfect. Um, and I was chilling in my Prius, stress-free car. Stress-free cars, 2007 Prius, absolutely stress-free. I'm chilling in the Prius, the com most comfiest seats in the world. I'm in this expensive Volkswagen right now, Jetta, right? European car. The seats are not as comfy as they were in my 2007 cotton soft Prius. So I'm chilling in my car, just smoked the joint and raw papers just for anyone really trying to, you know, copy the wave. Raw papers and I'm under a nice tree. I don't have to worry about any person there's no humans to mess up my vibe. It's just me, a nice day, and a tree right above me with some beautiful green leaves, okay? We are really one with the universe. We're connected to everything, guys. When, you know, you see trees and the leaves and the beauty of the green, it comes inside of you. Like, it comes into you, bro. So, pause. But anyway, yo, anyway, anyway, anyway. So... I sparked, I was under a tree and I fell asleep for like 40 minutes. I dozed off and that was just one of the most magical experiences of my entire life. And from there, I really just like, I genuinely, I think it's cause like I sparked and then I saw nature. I just vibe with nature and went to sleep. Magical combo right there. From there, I started having just dreams way more often, much deeper dreams. I smoked a lot. Um, you know, me personally, I've done mushrooms probably about six or seven times. And what they did was they really, really opened up my mind. Like I learned so much from a half an hour trip. Like I learned like a year's worth of knowledge in about half an hour. Does it, do I feel like it made me off or made me crazy? Absolutely not. I feel like it made me the opposite of crazy and the rest of the world is very out of touch with reality. Okay, this is not a Mushrooms endorsement video, but Mushrooms definitely made me closer to God, without a doubt, without a doubt in my mind. You know, I started, I stopped caring about things that didn't bring me towards my purpose. Um, it really grounded me and put me back on earth. Now, not to say I wasn't on earth before, you know, mind you, I was a three-time All-American, national champion, track superstar, D1 athlete, all these things. Well, all these things and living this life can take you away from God. Now, I was never miserable. I never did the mushrooms because I was like, oh, like I can't find my purpose. No, I always knew what my purpose was because I started my creative journey at such an early age. I really just wanted to experiment and, you know, learn about this natural thing that came out of the ground. Right. That's the only kind of drugs I will ever endorse or things that come out of the ground. That's it. I don't touch anything man made. God made only. All right. 
um this video is really like a little bit of everything like i'm really trying to stay on topic guys but my main points i want to deliver to you guys today is that don't be too nice okay drop a little salt be a little bit of a jerk all right because when you're too nice she gets bored she leaves you i literally lost the love of my life not because i was a bad person because i was too good of a person i was boring she thought probably thought i was hiding something whatever and it's like you know i tried to speak with her after but she has bad spirits around her right bad influences around her so when you have other people whispering in your ear putting demons on people it's like you know you can't even connect with that person anymore because you're distracted by the spirits that these outside people put on you and that's what she is and i wish the best for her you know i know she's not going to find another man like me i'm irreplaceable so i'm not worried about you know no depression about that i'm on my grind um but yeah shit happens guys you need to like i said don't be too nice out here all right be a little bit of a jerk be a little bit of an asshole it's just what works you know you're going to keep your girl you don't bore her that way you just throw some salt because why because the universe itself likes drama you have nightmares when you go to sleep you don't go to sleep and it's beautiful dreams every single time right you go to dreams and go to sleep sometimes i'm scared to go to sleep i'm like what am i about to dream about like i'll be having some wild dreams bro other night i had a dream i was in this um I was in this festival and it, there was this like freaking sick music playing. And I actually wanted to, when I woke up, I wanted to reproduce that music. But later in the day, I forgot what the rhythm of that song was. I wrote down the lyrics and I thought that that would be enough to like keep me going. But when I look back at it later in the day, I forgot the flow of the song. So I'm a little bit salty about that, guys, because that song, like it was lovely. But it, I was at this like festival and there were these cars and it's like you choose your car to drive it was literally like a video game um it was like drinking and a lot of people and then it turned into a road race so it went from like a car festival to a road race festival and speaking of cars you know i'm doing really well guys i got this super nice car i'm showing it to you guys most people be like oh don't show your license plates don't show your license plates but personally i don't live in fear so I'm gonna show my license plates. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. All right, so I got this cool little Volkswagen. And it's funny, I'm wearing my Fast and Furious shirt today. That's actually what inspired this car. So I got my cool little V-dub. You know, it's my little side mission. I got my dream chasing, dream chasing uh, stickers on there. And then some other people that I support, I do their businesses on my car. But I love it. It's a six speed. It's a little manual, guys. And that's just a little status update, uh, you know, with what's going on in life, how things are going, guys. Um, but yeah, I just got this revelation to share with you guys this experience that I had in the past. And I don't want you guys to make the same mistake as me because you only live once. If I could have this girl by my side, if she listened, you know, because it's like, yeah, you can have her by your side. But is she productive or is she counterproductive for your highest self? Okay, so yes, yeah, she might be pretty, but at the end of the day, it's about living a stress-free life. And maybe my life is better without her. I don't doubt that. I actually kind of find it hard to believe that it would be better with her sometimes, a lot of times, being honest with y'all. So with that being said, fam, uh, remember everything happens for a reason. And don't cry over spilled milk. And keep on keeping on. 14 minutes in, I'm about to go to my next form of content creation, which is uh editing some call of duty videos and trying to put together so i'm kind of all over the place but we love it i'm um, just creating all day fam and also lastly i told you guys at the beginning of the video i made over a grand yesterday so what i'm doing nowadays is i sell tiktok accounts right so you've seen on my previous videos i was talking about all the money i made from tiktok how i'm going viral all that stuff now i sell tiktok accounts so if you want to become an influencer and start selling products on TikTok like these other people, I'll sell you an account that you can start to do that. The link is in the bio for that. And also, if you want to learn how to go viral on TikTok, I got 30 million views this year. The link is in my bio for that as well, or in the video. Link is in the video for that, fam. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed 15 minutes of knowledge from Monty. 
leave some feedback. You know, this is an open floor. Don't feel intimidated. Don't feel like you can't talk. This is a safe space. You're safe with me. And yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next video, which is the next time I get a revelation to share something with you guys. That being said, peace out. Stay up and uh, protect your energy always. Monty signing out. And this is Organite. If you guys are wondering, this is an Organite uh, pendant. Peace. Organite protects with EMF radiation and it just promotes good energy. All right. All right. Peace out, Naman. No